I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent suggestions. Here is a request for calculating value for numbers with negative exponents, rather negative decimal exponents. So to explain the concept, I have taken two different examples. We will now evaluate 16 to the power of minus 0 0.75 and also 8 to the power of minus 0 0.666, that is 6 recurring. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's first do 16 to the power of minus 0 0.75. Now, what is 0.75 equals to? We need to understand that first, right? So when I say 0 0.75, it really means 75 over 100, correct? 75 over 100 is 3 over 4, correct? So we could write 16 to the power of minus 0 0.75 as equal to 16 to the power of minus 3 over 4. Now, minus means what? Minus is reciprocal, right? So then you could write this as 1 over 16 to the power of 3 over 4. So that is the meaning of negative exponent, right? So if you have anything, let's say a to the power of minus 1, it really means 1 over a, right? So we use that property. Now when I say 16 to the power of 3 over 4, it means cube of 16 and fourth root of 16, right? That's what it means. So we could write this as like this also fourth root of 16 and then we can cube it right now fourth root of 16 is what 2 right so we get 1 over 2 cube and 2 cube is 8 so we get 1 over 8 as our answer perfect so that is how you can evaluate the value so we get this as equal to 1 over 8 so i hope the steps are absolutely clear right now let's take up the second example in which we have a recurring number. Now, what is 0 0.6 recurring equals to, right? So when it kind of repeats, think like this, right? So, so we know 1 over 3 is 3 recurring. So 0 0.6 is 2 over 3. So if you divide 2 by 3, you get 6 recurring. So basically, we could write this as a to the power of minus 2 over 3. Minus, as you know, is reciprocal. So 1 over 8 to the power of 2 over 3. Now, when it comes in the denominator, it means root, and that is the square. So it is basically 1 over 8 square, and then cube root of 3. Now, this exponent could be written within the radical sign or outside both are one and the same thing correct so here we have two options we had these two options there also the two options for us are that we could either work out 1 over 8 square first and then find the cube root or we could do cube root of 8 first and then square it both options will give you the same answer, right? So the first option here is 1 over cube root of 16, right? The second option will tell you cube root of 8 is 2. So we get 2 square. As you can see, in both the cases, we get 1 over 4 as your answer. Do you see? So that is how we could actually do. So both are 1 over 4. Sorry. 8, 8 squared is 64. I'm so sorry. 8 squared is not 16 but 64. So cube root of 64 is, is 4, right? So you could do either way. As you can see, as you have seen from here, it is better to do cube root first. So normally, I'll prefer to do this path. As we land up with smaller numbers and don't make such mistakes. 
Do you understand? So from here, I will do the cube root of 8, which is 1 over 2. And then I'll square it to get my answer, which is 1 over 4, right? So in this case, we get 1 over 4 as 8 to the power of minus 0 0.666. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Now, in the second part of the video, in the next video rather, we'll take up exponents of decimal numbers, right? I hope by now you understand exactly how to evaluate the decimal negative exponents for given numbers. Thanks for watching and all the best.